Hey LEGO fans and Weekly Brick Watchers, welcome to the conclusion of our Christmas Presents 2010 special. Sorry it came so late, I was working on the uh, Birthday Bash 2011 reviews, which will be, more will be definitely coming soon. So, uh, as you can see in front of me here is Call of Duty Black Ops DS and a Nerf Barricade RV-10. Those were those two surprise birthday presents. This one given to me by someone from the hot, and this one given as just a regular, uh, present from my best friend. So let me go on with the um, review, technical review of this Nerf gun. So you can see it's the Barricade RV-10. It's in the End Strike series. It has whistling darts which really don't whistle at all unless you it faint whistle. It's a 10 dart revolving barrel. Um, this description of how it works and this one here the Raider CS35 is the uh, Nerf gun I'll be receiving for the next part of my birthday which is in two weeks so I'll definitely be doing a review of how the functions of that set uh, not set oh my god I'm getting confused between my Legos and the Nerf guns um, when that comes now you might be wondering okay these aren't Lego things why are you doing it the weekly brick in the newspaper has a section about opinions and just personal stuff so this is kind of a personals column if it was put into the newspaper itself because you're talking about something in your life that you just received for your birthday let's see it in action I did a test before and that was how far the bullets went in the test so now we're gonna see how far they go in reality Fire. And done. Oh, that would do some damage if a person was crawling on the ground. Now remember, safety first. Never shoot at the eyes or the head, and you know all that stuff. So, the gun. We'll go back there. Now we're on to the video game. This is Call of Duty Black Ops for the DS, even though it's not that high, too superb, uh, M-rated one that everybody talks about. Um, this is a pretty good equivalent to it. It says, which you probably can't read, experience epic Call of Duty action as the world's most elite special forces unit. This is 1968 in Cuba. It's fictional in that sense, but it probably could have happened. Now, this is the first time we ever would do this on the Weekly Brick. Let's see my DS, which isn't new, I got that three years ago, in action with the game. I'm going to show you some of the stuff. So this is the first time ever you've actually seen me play video games on here. We're going to do single player. And we're going to do do some training. Standing around with nothing to do, soldier? Looks to me like you've got time to train. Follow me. That's Sergeant Taylor, and let's begin. Walk forward. See where we go. Okay, let me get. Sorry for the quality. Uh, quality. Filming this is the first time we've ever done this center. Now it's mantle. Now it's crouch. The toggle. Now we're going to get back up. Get up that ladder! Now we're going to go up the ladder. Thought the war was going to end before you got back. Follow me. Okay, so that's a feature. That's the, um... Which you would call the training mode. 
Now, of course, in the game, there are 16 levels of mandatory play. I'm on the fifth so far. Now we're going to look at something cool. Zombie mode. Here they come. Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound pretty. Okay. Okay. Let's get acquainted. Let's get acquainted. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. We were overtaken. Well, that's just a little snippet of how Call of Duty Black Ops works. Um, sorry that the quality wasn't so good. I'm going to try to buy some new technology software that will enable me to film uh, video games. Like one of those uh, cards, I think it is. Something um, that records it directly from the console. So when I start to do my LEGO Star Wars uh, mini kit reviews, a mini kit, uh, getting the mini kits. So, that's all. That's the conclusion of our Christmas Presents 2010 special. So, let's, let's get ready to say it, as I always say. Goodbye, now. Peace. Nice.